The Senator from Northern Fairfax, Senator Howe. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. There's a floor amendment that's being distributed, and I would ask the clerk to read the floor amendment. Without objection, the clerk will read the floor amendment. Page two of the substitute, line 120, after party period. Insert, prior to prescribing medication for erectile dysfunction, a physician shall perform a digital rectal examination and a cardiac stress test. Informed consent for these procedures shall be given at least 24 hours before the procedures are performed. Senator from Northern Fairfax, Senator Howe. Speaking to the amendment, Mr. President. Um, Mr. President, this is a matter of basic fairness. I must admit that when I left the Education and Health Committee meeting on Thursday, I was really quite distressed and angry because this bill seems disrespectful of women. It, it's requiring them to have unnecessary medical procedures. It's adding to the cost, and it's opening them up for emotional blackmail. And I was upset because it was disrespectful of doctors. Uh, it's forcing them to perform procedures they don't think is necessary, and it's subjecting them to a $2,500 fine if they don't perform this procedure. Well, I went back to my hotel room, and I was watching television, and there was an ad, I'm sure you've seen it, of a couple on a lovely beach, each in their own bathtub, and they were waiting for the right moment. But then, half the commercial was what was wrong with this medication, all the serious things that could happen to a man who was going to take this medication. So I said, it's only fair that if we're going to subject women to unnecessary procedures, and we're going to subject doctors to having to do things that they don't think is medically advisory, well, Mr. President, I think we should just have a little gender equity here. And that's the purpose of the amendment, Mr. President. 